Hey witches, so I was talking a lot about gratitude when I was talking about manifesting and raising your vibrations. Some other things I didn't say in the raising your vibrations video real quick. You can, a lot of people have success with using crystals for this. And there's something else I was going to say, but I forgot it'll come to me. So anyway, I'm at Spells 8 again. And I had this saved on my phone and it just jumped out at me. So I took an inspired action and thought I would share it with you. So it's a gratitude salt spell. Remember, you can adjust spells however you see fit. Spells 8 does a good job, though, of making them really simple and using ingredients that we have. But you can always substitute or just do it in your brain without any tools. Because that's also <laughs> something you can do. And should do so anyway for this one you need a white candle seven red rose petals it wouldn't matter if they were fresh or dry coarse salt any salt would do and the reason I'm putting this out now is because we're having the new moon dark moon new moon whatever so these are to attract more good luck and you would do this on the new moon so it says, I'm sorry y'all, my cat is being loud. He's going through some weird phase where he meows constantly for an hour. He's old. Poor baby. Anyway, so <laughs> what you can do is on the 28th, coming up, is that tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. So what you would do is gather these materials, very simple to gather. And like I said, if you're missing something, you could replace it. You could even use a pink candle for this to represent love because things that you're thankful for, you love those things, hopefully. Otherwise, why would you be thankful for them? And that would be just fine. So when you are doing this, it says that your higher self is listening and the doors that are locked now will open for you. So it's kind of like a new beginning in a way. So this would be a great way to begin, you know, laying down a manifestation or planting the seed of a manifestation on the 28th, which is tomorrow. So if you're currently not working on anything, that'd be a good time to start. And you can start with this spell. So salt is the main ingredient. And it says it would act as a cleansing agent. It's been used to help clear and purify negative energies of course. But it also says it will help bring new energies. And offer protection to come. So that's always good. And rose petals are the perfect offering for this request. Because the road is this, the road. <laughs> the rose is the sacred flower of the west. And represents the will of life also paralleled by the lowest flower in the east and then it talks about jesus and stuff i'm not going to read that but it does say that it's inspired um, painters musicians architects philosophers and spiritualists for hundreds of years its powers of manifestation are uniquely effective so you want to use the res the rose petals you know you want to use those so cast it tells you when to cast it we just talked about it and then it says if you want to cast it on the waning crescent moon which would be tonight you would focus less on attracting good luck and more in giving closure to a cycle while being thankful for that cycle so if you're going through a cycle that's coming to an end you might want to do it tonight otherwise do it tomorrow so it says that what you will do is you need a dish also put everything on your altar put the dish on your altar use a handful of salt to make a protective circle on the dish and you would want to sprinkle that clockwise because you're bringing in protection use a handful of salt da 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 place seven petals of a red rose on top of the circle of salt i was i would also place them clockwise starting wherever you want and then just go clockwise and try to space them evenly in the center of the dish light the candle 
And of course, you need to sit, breathe slowly, and relax. Visualize all the paths in your life clearing and all the doors opening for you. So, whatever you're going to manifest, you know, think about what, you know, what could be and just visualize those things happening. Visualize those paths becoming clear between you and your desire, whatever it might be. And then it has a little spell here for my abundance and, and success. Blah, blah, I can't talk. For my abundance and success, I am thankful to my higher self because I have a purpose and love because you guide me from above. I am one with you, so mote it be. And then it says, for seven days, repeat the same ritual using the same ingredients and candle. And on the last day, let it burn all the way down. So when you would, when you would stop for one day after you're finished visualizing while focusing with the flame, pinch it out or snuff it out. Do not blow it out. Don't blow it out. Don't blow it out. Okay. And then here, there's a video where she goes through it. And then you can always click on this part for any of their videos. I don't know why it's not working right now. Probably because I'm recording it. But you can click on that and it will download one that you could put in your BOS if you have like a binder one. But there's also an amethyst stone activation meditation that will go along with this. And then she has other videos linked. I'll put this link below. And there's a really good bath there that would be a good idea to do during any new moon because it's like a cleansing. But you could do that anytime. But it's always good to remove negativity. There's the there's the link. So you would get the free downloadable pages and print them. I just like to write anything that I do in my BOS by hand because I'm always changing at least one thing. And it, I just feel like it gives it more power to write it myself and put it in that book. But that's just me. If you are good with doing it, you know, it electronically and just saving PDFs, that's fine too because we save paper. But there's a lot of other things that you could do on here. It needs to be updated a little bit. But it's still good. Everything up here is looking good. So if you want to try this, go for it. Hopefully you've already got most of these items. You might just have to go get a rose. I think you can buy single roses at the grocery store for like 4 or $5. But it's always a good idea to get some roses for whatever deity you're working with and leave them an offering. So you could leave them an offering of some and then just get your little petals off. You could do that if you wanted. But I think it's good and I think it would be a great way to clear everything out before you start planting seeds for your manifestation. So I hope this helps someone and blessed be.